टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लिनिकल बेस क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द स्प्लीन ए पेशेंट प्रेजेंट विद द स्वेलिंग इन लेफ्ट टाइपोकॉन्ड्रियम फोर सेंटीमीटर बिलो द कोस्टल मार्जिन दिस स्वेलिंग मूव विद द रेस्पिरेशन एंड एराइज फ्रॉम द सॉलिड विसरा नेम द ऑर्गन कॉमनली एनलार्ज इन लेफ्ट टाइपोकॉन्ड्रियम and most common as cause of enlargement of this organ enumerate the border surface and visceral relation of this swelling add the knot on development of this organ and describe the ligaments of this organ and it contains most com answer the most commonly enlargement of the solid organ into the left hypochondrium it is the spleen and most common is uh, cause of the enlargement in india it is a malaria development it develop from the lobulated mass from the uh, mesoderm of the upper part of the dorsal mesogastrium so it is developed from the dorsal mesogastrium into the upper part of the meso mesoderms the presenting part of the uh, spleen has a three borders it is a upper border it has a uh, uh lower border and intermediate border it has a two end lateral end and medial end and surface are the two surface diaphragmatic surface or it is called the uh, costo diaphragmatic surface and the visceral surface upper border which is uh, with the uh, related with the ninth costal cartilage uh, and with the ninth ribs and it is uh, behind it is continuous with the intermediate border here you can see this is continuous as a intermediate border it is not not notched in its anterior parts so here you can see this is a notch into the anterior part suggests the uh, spleen which is developed from the lobules the lower border which is correspond with the 11th ribs and intermediate border lies just below to the hilum of the spleen here you can see this is the uh, the structure either which is goes inside the organ or it come out the organ it is called the hilum so it is intermediate border lies just below below the hilum of the spleen and behind it is continuous with the superior border the lateral end it is a more like a border it is directed downwards forwards and late, laterally it is related to the splenic flexor of the colon above and phrenico colic ligament below the lateral end usually become palpable first during the enlargement of the spleen it is called the splenomegaly the medial end is slides about 4 cm uh, lateral to the 10th thoracic spine the diaphragmatic or outer surface or it is called the costal surface it is related with the diaphragm uh, left costo diaphragmatic recess of the pleura base of the lung and 9 to 11th ribs and intercostal uh, concern intercostal spaces visceral relations uh, it is related with the fundus of the stomach between the superior and intermediate border anterior surface of the left kidney between the intermediate and inferior borders left colic flexor of the colon uh, in front of the hilum and near to uh, at the anterior end behind the colic impression it is related to the uh, tail of the pancreas at the hilum of the spleen so here you can see this is a a uh, tail of the pancreas you can see this is a tail of the pancreas and this is the splenic flexor of the colon uh, which is related to the anterior part of the spleen and uh, this is a superior border and this is a intermediate border in between there is a fundus of the stomach and this is a intermediate border and this is a uh, inferior border and here it is related with the anterior surface of the uh, left kidney hilum of the spleen it is the gateway for entry and exit of various structure mainly the segmental branches of splenic arteries corresponding vein lymphatics and nerves of the spleen ligament of the spleen the gastrosplenic ligaments 
here you can see there is a ligaments which is a gastrosplenic ligament this is a gastrosplenic ligament and this gastrosplenic ligament uh, from fundus of stomach to the spleen uh, to the hilum of the spleen and covers the spleen and then continues become the lino renal ligament here you can see this is a it continues cover the spleen and it becomes uh, between the spleen and kidney it is becomes a lino renal ligaments it contains the left gastroepiploic and short gastric branch of the splenic artery here you can see this is a, a, a gastrosplenic ligaments after that it covers to the spleen and it becomes continues as a, a lino renal ligament the another uh, ligament uh, mainly uh, the gastrosplenic ligament it contains the short gastric vessels uh, it contains the short gastric uh, vessels uh, and the lino renal uh, ligaments which extend from the hilum of the spleen to the anterior surface of the left kidney it contains the splenic vessel and tail of the pancreas so whenever you can do the splenectomy at that time you take the precaution of the tail of pancreas because it contains a abundant amount of the langerhans cells so which controls the uh, uh, blood glucose level by the insulin and glucagon which is secreted by the uh, langerhans cells third ligament it is the phrenicocolic ligament it is also called the sustenaculum lani it extends from the splenic flexor of the colon to the diaphragm it does not attach to the spleen and support the lateral end of the spleen so it is a remnant of the inferior retention band and fourth is the suspensory ligament of the spleen it is a fold of peritoneum extending from the diaphragm to the uh, medial uh, end of the spleen